Good morning, everyone. Dobro jutro svima. It is really good to be back in Serbia again. Dobro što mogu biti ponovo u Srbiji. It is four years since we were last in this part of Serbia. Prošlo je više od četiri godine kada smo poslednji put bili ovde u Srbiji. But the main reason for that, of course, was COVID-19. Sadly, my wife Lynn is not able to be with me today. On Wednesday evening, her sister sadly passed away. I'm sure you'll agree with me that COVID-19 is an event that changed the world. When it first appeared, my wife Lynn and I were in Montenegro. And we were staying with Vladimir and Mariana Shizmanski. And just a couple of hours before we were meant to fly home, uh, we got an email to say there were no flights. Dobili smo email koji je rekao da više nema letova. Vladimir said, maybe God is telling you that you should stay here for a while. I Vladimir rekao, pa možda ti Bog govori da treba da ostaneš ovde neko vreme. And I said, I was speaking to God this morning and he didn't tell me to stay. Rekao sam Vladimir, ja sam razgovarao sa Bogom jutro si, on mi nije rekao da treba da ostane. But you know, in a wonderful way, God opened the door so that we could go home. Ali na čudesan način Bog je otvorio granicu da smo mogli da odemo kući. There was a man called Vlaho. Bio je jedan čovek po imenu Vlaho. That Vladimir Majerski and I had stayed with ten years before this. Koga smo Vladimir Majerski ja upoznali deset godina ranije. And he came and met my wife and I at the border between Montenegro and Croatia. He took us to Dubrovnik Airport. And we got the last flight to London Gatwick. And forty minutes later. The airport was completely closed. Let us read this morning three verses from Paul's letter to Ephesians. We're going to read Ephesians 5 verses 15 to 17. Pazite dakle kako živite, ne kao nemudri, nego kao mudri. Otkupljujte vreme jer su dani zli, zato ne, bude, ne budite nerazumni, nego shvatite šta je Božja volja. This is the text that I have been asked to speak on for two occasions today. Zamalje sam da govorim na ovaj tekst u dva sastanka danas. Now, if you give this text to three different preachers, ako biste dali ovaj tekst trojici različitih govornika, you would get three different sermons. Sigurno biste dobili tri različite propovedi. Because we all think differently, zato što ne svi mi različito razmišljamo, and we approach this text from different angles. I pristupamo ovoj temi iz različitih uglova. I think it's important that we look at this text in its context. Mislim da ispravno da pogledamo ovaj tekst u svom kontekstu. Paul's letter to the Ephesians is a really wonderful letter. I Paolo pismo Efesima je zaista predivno pismo. Nevjerojatno. In my home assembly, Donluce Christian Fellowship, u našoj domaćoj zajednici koja se zove Donluce Kršćanska zajednica, uh, we studied the book of Ephesians recently. You know, in another letter that Paul wrote, he said, Be diligent to show yourself approved to God. A workman that does not need to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of 
koji ispravno postupa ili deli Božju reč, reč istine. One thing I learned as a young Christian nešto što sam naučio kao mladi hrišćanin is that the God of the Bible is a God of order. Da je Bog, Biblije je Bog reda. And God's word i Božja reč is a book of order. I također knjiga reda. You know, as Christians, we must learn to rightly divide the word of truth. Let me explain that a little bit more. My wife Lynn and I have five children. When our children were younger, sometimes Lynn would make a big pie for our dinner. Moja supruga Lynn bi napravila jednu veliku pitu za večeru. And after the pie was cooked and made ready, a kad je pila pita bila gotova, Lynn began to divide the pie. A Lynn je počela da deli tu pitu. However, she didn't divide it equally into seven parts. Ali ona nije podelila tu pitu na sedam jednakih delova. But she gave to everyone what they were able to eat. Ali svakome je dala ono što je mogao svako da pojede. And so those of us who seek to teach the word of God tako i mi koji podučavam Božu reč must keep in mind moramo imati na umu that sometimes we are speaking to young believers da ponekad razgovaram sa mladim ljudima and sometimes we are speaking to older believers ponekad razpričamo o starim ljudima, vernicima and we must break the word of God down so that everyone can understand i također treba da tako govorimo da svako razume when we think of Paul's letter to the Ephesians i kada razmišljamo o Pavlovom pismu Efescima it divides easily in two about the middle vrlo jednostavno se može podeliti na dva dela, nekako u sredini. The first three chapters are all about our position in Christ. Prve tri poglavlja svaki govori o našoj poziciji u Hristu. In chapter one Paul says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. U prvom poglavlju Paul kaže, Blagosloven Bog i Otac naše gospode Isusa Hrista. Who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ. Koji nas je na nebesima blagoslovio svakim duhovnim blagoslovom u Hristu. And so the first three chapters are about our position in Christ. Tri poglavlja se tip naše pozicije u Hristu. But the second part of Paul's letter to the Ephesians ali drugi deo poslanice Efescima is all about the practical outworking of this in our lives. He tells us how we should walk as Christians and how we should conduct ourselves. We are to walk worthy of our calling. We are to walk in unity. We are to walk differently. We're to walk in love. We're to walk in light. And then we are to walk in wisdom. And this text that we're looking at this morning, it is found in that last section that we are to walk in wisdom. When Miro wrote to me to tell me that you would like me to look at this text. Kada mi je Miro pisao email da se pripremi na ovaj tekst. I got a piece of a blank sheet of paper. Uzal sam jedno parče čistog papira. And I went to a coffee shop. Otišao sam u jednu kafeteriju. And I prepared my sermon. I pripremio sam moju propoved. And in the middle I put the text redeeming the time. U sredini sam zapisao taj stih odkupljivati vreme. And then I began to put what we call a mind map, a map. I onda sam, kako bih rekao, spravio mapu razmišljanja. And I began all the thoughts that came to my mind, I began to write them down. I zapisivao sam sve misli koje su mi pale na pamet. And what I'm going to share with you this morning is the result of 
one bit of paper and two cups of coffee. Ono što ću samo podeliti, to je ono što je usledilo sa ovog jednog papira i dve šole kafe. And so I began to put together a number of questions about this text. I tako sam postoje različita pitanja u vezi ovog teksta. The first is, why is time so important? Prvo, zašto je vreme toliko važno? And then, what does it mean to redeem the time? Drugo, šta znači otkupiti vreme? And then, why, why should we bother redeeming the time? I onda treće, zašto bi u stvari trebalo da otkupijemo vreme? Who or what are the enemies of time? Ko ili šta su neprijatelji vremena? How can we redeem the time? Kako možemo da otkupimo vreme? How is understanding the will of God linked to redeeming the time? I kako je razumevanje Božje volje povezano sa otkupljivanjem vremena? And then how will God reward those who do redeem the time? I na kraju, kako će Bog nagraditi one koji otkupljuju vreme? Now you will be glad to know that this morning I'm only going to look at the first four questions. And I'm sure you're looking forward to having a nice lunch. And I promise you that I will not keep you too late. So our first question, why is time so important? Zašto je vreme toliko važno? In the Old Testament we read the story of Job. U Starom Zavetu čitamo priču o Jobu. You know, Job had a very deep understanding of God. Job je imao jako duboko razumevanje o Bogu. His character, his power and his authority. Njegovom karakteru, njegovom moći i njegovom autoritetu. But you know, Job said, God is not a man like I am. Job je rekao, Bog nije čovek kao što sam ja. God is different from me in so many different ways. Bog je drugačiji od mene na tako mnogo različitih načina. God is not confined by time or defined by time. Bog nije ograničen vremenu ili definisan vremenu. I was worried earlier on i ranije sam se malo brinuo. Because I thought Mr. Majerski was going to steal my sermon. Ja sam se plašao da će gospodin Majerski ukrasti moju probavljati. But thankfully he didn't. Ali hvala Bogu nije. You see, the Bible says that before the mountains were brought forth. Vidite, Biblija kaže u Psalmu 90. Kaže, pre nego što su se rodile gore. Or ever you have formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Od večnosti do večnosti ti si Bog. Now, what does this mean? Šta ovo znači? You see, before time began, pre nego što je vreme počelo, God was there. Bog je bio tamo. And whenever time is no more, God will still be there. I kad se vreme završi, Bog će i dalje biti tu. You see, with God, in many respects, there is no beginning. Vidite, sa Bogom nema početka. And with God, there will not be an end. Niti će biti kraja sa Bogom. But you know, you and I are different. Vi znate, ti i ja, mi smo drugačiji. Your life and my life, they are defined by time. Tvoj život i moj život su definisani vremenom. 67 years ago I was born. Pre 67 godina sam se rodio. This man insulted me recently in a video call. Nedavno je ovaj čovjek malo mene uvredio dok smo pričali preko videa. He said to me, David, you look very old. Rekao, David, izgledaš malo dosta starije. And I said, what are you talking about? I said, I can see some gray hair. Now, he didn't know that I was going to embarrass him here this morning, but I just had to embarrass him. Thank you, thank you. No problem. I'm your good friend. 
67 years ago I was born. But I don't know when I'm going to die. Ja ne znam kada ću umreti. Len sister Gail. Linina sestra Gail se zove. It weeks ago. Pre osam nedelja. She had a bleed in her brain. Dobila je izgled krvi u mozak. The doctors told us that she was going to get better. Doktori su nam rekli da će se njeno stanje popraviti. Obršati. But God had other plans. I Bog je imao drugačije planove. And on last Wednesday evening, a prošle srede uveče, her spirit left her body. Njen duh je otišao izna njeno tela. And she went to be with Christ. I otišao je da bude sa Hristom. It doesn't take away the sadness. To ne uzima vreme naše dugovanje. But not any of us know when we are going to die. Niko od nas ne zna kada će umreti. Vladimir in his message earlier, Vladimir je u svojoj poruci ranije, he mentioned that King Solomon said there is a time for everything under the sun. Spomenuo Solomona kako kaže da za sve ima vreme pod suncem. A time to be born and a time to die. Vreme rađanja, vreme umiranja. A time to plant and a time to dig up what you have planted. Vreme sađenja i vreme vađenja posađeno. A time to kill and a time to heal. Vreme ubijanja, vreme lečenja. A time to break down and a time to build up. Vreme rušenja i vreme građenja. I know many of you understand what I'm going to say next. Siguran sam da ćete mnogi od vas shvatiti šta ću sada reći da kažem. There's a time to cry. Vreme plakanja and a time to laugh. I vreme smejate. A time to mourn. Vreme žaljenja. And a time to dance. I vreme igranja. The prophet Hosea said this. Prorok Osija je rekao ovo. It is time to seek the Lord. Vreme je da tražite gospode. You know, sometimes we use this text in context of salvation. We say to people who are not Christians, it is time to get saved. And if there's someone here today and you do not know Christ as your Savior, this message is for you. It is time to seek the Lord. Vreme da tražiš gospode. But you know, it's also a message for Christians. Ali to je također i vreme, poruka za hrišćane. Time is a very precious commodity. Vreme je vrlo dragoceni artikal. People sometimes say, I wish I could turn the clock back. Ljudi često kažu, volao bih da mogu da vratim vreme u nas. But you know, when time has gone, ali znate, kada vreme prođe, it will never come back again. I once read this story. In ancient Greece, there was a statue. It was a statue of a runner running. On the front of his head, he had a single lock of hair. And the rest of his head had no hair at all. And at the base of the statue were three questions and answers. The first question, where are you going? The, the answer was, I am running quickly throughout all the earth. And the second question was, why is it that you only have one lock of hair at the front of your head? And the answer was, so that people can take hold of me as I run quickly by. And then the final question was this. Why is it there is no hair at the back of your head? And the answer was given. When I have gone past, 
kada ih preteknem. It is impossible for people to take hold of me. Ne mogu će da me ufate. The name of that statue is opportunity. I ime te statue je prilika. Opportunities come. Prilike dolaze. Opportunities go. Prilike odlaze. But they might not ever come back again. Ali možda se nikad neće vratiti. For those of us who are Christians today. Za nas koji smo hrišćani danas. Opportunities to read our Bible and to speak to God in prayer. Vreme da govorimo sa Bogom, vreme za molitvu, za čitanje Biblije. Opportunities to get to know God better. Prilike da upoznajemo Boga bolje. Opportunities to lead others to Christ. I prilike da vodimo druge ka Hristu. Opportunities to help to encourage our brothers and sisters in the Lord. Također prilike da pomognemo izgradnji onih koji su u istoj porodici u veri. As creatures of time for us. Time is important. Kao stvorenja vremena, vreme nam je vrlo bitno. Second question. Drugo pitanje. What does it mean to redeem the time? Šta znači odkupiti vreme? The word redeem means to buy something back. Reč odkupiti znači kupiti nešto nazad. Or to reclaim ownership. Ili povratiti vlasništvo. We've said already that time is a gift of from God. None of us know how much time has given to us. God wants us to be aware that the clock is constantly ticking. 60 seconds in each minute. 60 minutes in one hour. 60 minuta u svakom satu. 24 hours for one day. 24 sata u svakom danu. You know, we can learn to redeem the time. Znači, možemo da naučimo da otkupljujemo vreme. By being aware that we might not have another day. Tako što ćemo postati svesni činjenica da možda nećemo imati još jedan dan život. And God wants us to make the most of the time that we have. Bog želi da maksimalno iskoristimo vreme koje imamo. I'm going to add a little story that I didn't share with Miro. Dodat ću još jednu priču koju nisam još rekao Miro. I worked with a man who was called Jimmy. Radio sam sa čovjekom koji se vole za Jimmy. I used to work in a microwave radio station up on the mountainside. Radio sam u planini na jednoj radio stanici. And all the national and international calls from Ireland came through the station. I kroz ovu stanicu su dolazili sve domaće i međunarodne poruke. And all the television that we watched at home came through this radio station. I sav televizijski program koji je bio je dolazio kroz ovu stanicu. My friend Jimmy used to clean the floors and clean the station for me. I Jimmy je čistio pod, čistio prostoriju za mene. But his wife rang me one day to say he wasn't well. Ali njegova supruga mi je jednom nazvala, rekao da Jimmy se baš ne osjeća dobro. And Jimmy was not a Christian. Jimmy nije bio hrišćan. And I used to try to witness to him as he was doing his work. I pokušao sam da mu svedočim dok je bio na poslu. Then I heard that he was taken to hospital. Onda sam čuo da je morao da ode u bolnicu. On a Wednesday night, I was making a decision. I u sredu uveče sam se odlučivao. The Spirit of God said to me, go and see Jimmy. I duh Boži mi je nekako rekao, idi i vidi Jimmy. But Wednesday night was our assembly, midweek prayer and Bible study. Ali u sredu uveče je bio vreme kad smo se sretali u našoj zajednici za molitvu, za studiranje Biblije. What should I do? Šta da radim? Do I go to see my friend as the Spirit of God told me? Da li da idem da vini svog prijatelja kako me Duh Boži ponuka? Or do I attend my midweek meeting? Ili da idem u svoju zajednicu? Sadly, nažalost, I went to the midweek. Otišao sam u svoju zajednicu. And I thought, tomorrow night I will go to see Jimmy. I mi razmišljao sam, sutra uveče ću ići da ga vidim. I came into work on Thursday. Došao sam na posao u četvrtak. And another friend said to me, did you hear about Jimmy? I jedan drugi prijatelj rekao, jesi čuo o Jimmyu? I said, yes, he's not well, he's in hospital. Da, 
Čuo sam, ne osjeća se dobro u bolnici. I'm going to visit him tonight. A večeras ću ga posjetiti. And my friend's face went very sad. I lice moga prijatelja bilo jako tužno. I'm emotional. Bilo sam emotivan. My friend said he passed away last night at midnight. Rekao je prijatelj, Jimmy je u ponoć preminuo. And for many years I was haunted. I mnogo godina me je to proganjalo. I knew I should have gone to see him. Znam da sam trebao da idem da ga vidim. The Spirit of God told me to go and see him. Duh Boži me je motrisao da idem da ga vidim. But I let that opportunity come. Ali ispustio sam ovu priliku. And go. I otišla je prilika. And I was not given that opportunity again. I nije mi više bila data takva prilika. I pray that God will be gracious to that man. I don't know where he was spiritually. Ja, nažalost, ne znam kako je duhovno stanje bilo ovog čovjeka. The word redeem also means to buy for yourself. Reč odkupiti ili iskupiti također nosi misle odkupiti za sebe. You know, when you go into a shop to buy some food or to buy some clothes, kad odete u prodavnicu da kupite hranu ili odeću, You have to put your hand in your pocket and pay the man some money. Morate da date deo novca prodavcu. You see, to redeem something involves a sacrifice. Odkupljenje u stvari podrazumeva i žrtvovanje. So to redeem the time will involve a personal sacrifice. Odkupljivanje vremena podrazumeva ličnu žrtvu. I want to suggest that you need three qualities to redeem the time. I želim da vam predložim da bi je potrebno otprilike tri kvaliteta da biste odkupili vreme. First of all, you need discipline. Prvo redu potrebna je disciplina. We must literally grab hold of the time. Moram bukvalno da uhvatimo vreme. We saw earlier that time waits for no one. Vidjeli smo ranije da vreme ne čeka nikoga. We must put out our two hands and we must take hold of time. Moramo ispružiti obe ruke i uhvatiti, uzeti to vreme. If you do not do this, ako to ne radimo, time will fly by and you will have missed the opportunity. Vreme će proletiti i propustit ćemo priliku. You also need determination. Druga stvar također nam je potrebna odlučnost. You know, we must learn how to manage our time. Treba da naučimo kako da upravljamo svojim vremenom. In the world of business, time management is a big thing. I kompanije su vrlo svesne toga, to je velika stvar, neko od takvih kompanija velikih. Companies spend millions of euros and dollars to help them learn how to manage time. I kompanije plaće milijone evra i dolara da nauče kako da upravljaju vremenom. I'm sure you've heard people saying, I don't have enough time. Siguran sam da ste čuli kako ljudi kažu, nemam vremena. But that's not exactly true. To baš je nije tačno. You have plenty of time. Ima si dovoljno vremena. But the problem is, perhaps you are not managing your time well. Često je problem što nisi dobro upravljao svojim vremenom. And then finally, you need dedication. I onda treća stvar, posvećenost. We must make the best use of our time. Moramo na najbolji način da iskoristimo svoje vreme. I'm sure like me you can remember times when you have wasted your time. Siguran sam da možeš setiti prilike kada si protraćio svoje vreme. We have five children. Imamo petoro dec. And when they were little. I kada su bili mali. If anything was ever broken. Ako je bilo šta bilo pokvareno, slomljeno. They used to give it to me and say, Daddy, will you fix it? Došli bi kod mene i rekli, Tata, hoćeš to popraviti? And I would spend hours trying to fix it. Whatever was broken. I satima sam pokušao da popravi ono što je bilo slomljeno. But if I had taken that to the expert, ali ako bi to uzeo i dao ekspertu, sručnjaku, they could have fixed it in a small portion of time. On bi to rešio u veliću sekundu. I was just sitting thinking as I prepared for today. I dok sam sedao i pripremao se za danas. If somebody told me that I had only one month to live, i razmišljao sam, ako bi mi rekao da imaš još mesec dana života, šta bih uradio drugačije? 
Mislim da bi svaki minut svoga vremena iskoristio da ne bude protraćen. I would make sure that not one minute was wasted. Dakle, da nijedan minut vremena nije uzalet. You know, when you spend time alone with God, that is not time wasted. Znate, kada provedete vreme sa Bogom, to nije protraćeno vreme. When you spend time reading God's word, that is not time wasted. Kada provedete vreme čitajući Bibliju, to nije protrećeno vreme. When you spend time serving God, that is not wasted time. Vreme provedeno služeći Bogu nije protrećeno vreme. We have a little line in English. Imamo tako jednu izreku kratku na uengleskom. Only one life, it will soon be passed. Samo jedan život će uskoro proći. Only what is done for Jesus will last. A samo ono što je učinjeno za Isusa će trajati. Question number three. Pitanje broj tri. I think you might get to lunch a little bit earlier, perhaps. A možda ste malo ranije ići na ručak. We we still have a lot to go through. Ima ćemo ima još dosta. Yeah. Da prođemo. But you might say, "Me, David, you know, sometimes my children speak to me like this. But why?" Kada moja deca ovako prijeđe sa mnom. Why should I bother, Dad? Why? Stav, pa šta onda? Što sam vremenom, nema veze. So you could say to me, David, why should I bother redeeming the time? Tako biste i mi, vi možda postavili pitanje, što treba da se brinemo da otkupimo vreme? I'm going to suggest four reasons why we should redeem the time. I želim da vam predložim četiri razloga zašto treba da otkupimo vreme. First and foremost, it is a command of Holy Scripture. Prvo i najvažnije, to je zapovest Svetog Pisma. This brings us back to our text. I ovo nas vraća nazad na naš tekst. Paul says we should be wise. Pavle kaže treba da budemo mudri. And we should live wisely i treba da živimo mudro we are to redeem or to buy for ourselves the time treba da otkupimo ili kupimo sebi vreme he also says we are to understand or to discover također kaže treba da shvatimo ili da otkrijemo what God's will is for your life and for mine šta je Božja voja za naš život za tvoj život, moj život and why Zašto? Because the days in which we live are increasingly evil. Zato što dani u kojima živimo su sve više i više zli. The second reason why we should redeem the time. Drugi razlog zašto treba da otkupimo vreme. Is the Bible says that the time is short. Zato što Biblija kaže da je vreme kratko. It's a very sobering thought to think I have lived more of my life than I have yet to live. I otrežnjujuće je pomisao da sam proživao više svog života nego što mi je ostalo da živim. The Bible says, boast not yourself of tomorrow. Biblija kaže, ne hvali se sutrašnjim danom. Because you do not know what a day may bring. Jer ne znaš što taj dan donosi. Time is a precious gift from God. Vreme je najdragoceniji dan od Boga. We should use it wisely. Trebalo bi mudro da ga koristimo. The third reason why we should redeem the time is that the coming again of the Lord has never been closer. When I was a little boy growing up in the assembly, we heard people at least once, twice a month talking about the second coming of Christ. Možda je jedan put, dva puta mesečno je bila tema o drugom Hristovom dolazku. Sadli, we do not hear that very much today. Nažalost, danas ne čujemo jako puno o tome. Let us think about the certainty of his coming. Razmišljajmo o sigurnoj činjenici njegovog dolazka. He said, I will come again. Rekao je, doći ću ponovno. And those words of the Lord Jesus, i ove reči gospoda Isusa, Though they echo down the millennium and down the centuries to today, oni odjekuju hiljadama godina, na stotinama godina sve do danas. And the message has not changed. I poruka se nije promenila. He said, "I will come again." Ja ću ponovo doći. Think about the character of his coming. Razmišljajte o načinu njegovog dolaska. 
He's going to come like a thief in the night. On će doći kao lov po u noći. One day we wakened up at home. Jednog dana smo se provodili kući. And we opened the curtains. Otvorili smo zavese. And across the road at our neighbor's house there was a lot of activity. I preko puta kod našeg susjeda je bilo dosta aktivnosti. There were two police cars parked outside their house. Bila su dva policijska automobila ispred njihove kuće. And I waited until the police had gone. I sačekao sam dok su policajci otišli. And I went to speak to my neighbor. I otišao sam da pričam sa svojim komšijem. And I said, is everything okay? Pitao sam je li sve u redu? And they said no. Rekli su mi ne. While we were sleeping. Dok smo mi spavali. Thieves came to the front of our property. Došli su lopovi ispred naše, naše gimanje. They stood on a box that they found at the side of our property. A box, wooden box. I stali su na drvenom sanduku koji je bio ispred naše kuće. They managed to get the front windows open. I uspeli su da otvore prozor. And they went inside. I ušli su unutra. Now needless to say, they didn't ring the day before and say, oh, we're coming tonight. And we're going to steal some of the lovely things you have in your home. You, don't, you never know when a thief is going to come. And the Lord will come when we least expect him to come. What are the consequences of this coming? First of all, the dead in Christ will rise first. I love that. People that we know and love. <laughs> who knew Christ as our Savior. They will be raised first. And then believers who are alive at his coming, we will be changed in a moment in the blink of an eye. And we will be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. And what is the challenge of his coming? The Bible says, be ready. Biblia kaže, budite i vi spremni. Because in such an hour as you do not think, zato što u čas koji ne mislite, the Son of Man will come. Doći će Sin Čoveć. The final reason why we ought to redeem the time, i konačan razlog zašto treba da otkupimo vreme, is that there is coming a day of review. Jeste da dolazi dan preispitivanja. Paul in his letter to the Christians in Rome, i Pavle piše vetnicima u pismu Rimljanima, he said we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Svi ćemo stajati pred sud i preskoda Hristova. The thing in question then will not be your sin. I pitanje tada neće biti tvoj greh. You see, your sin was dealt with sa tvojim grekom se već postupilo rešilo kada je Gospod Isus umro za tebe na krstu tvoji grešni su oprošteni doveden si u Božju porovicu i stvari koje će se preispitivati tada neće biti pitanje tvog greha ali što će biti ispitano jeste tvoja služba da li si iskoristio dobro svoje vreme da li smo mudro koristili svoje vreme ili smo protraćili Bogom dane prilike We are looking at our final question for this morning. I pogledajmo sada i posljednje pitanje ovog jutra. Who or what are the enemies of time? Ko ili šta su neprijatelji vremena? The first is our arch enemy, the devil. Prvi je naš iskonski stari neprijatelj, djavl. Satan is delighted when you and I waste our time. 
Sotona je jako voli kada vi i ja tracimo svoje vreme. He will say to you, don't worry about serving God. On ti kaže, pa ne breni ste za služenje Bogu. You have plenty of time. Imaš dovoljno vremena. I once read this story. Čitao sam jednom o ovoj priči. The forces of evil were having a meeting. Da su se sile zla sastale. And their plan was to stop people trusting Christ. I pravili plan kako da zaustave ljude da ne veruju u Hristu. The first said, I have an idea. I prvi kaže, e imam ideju. Why don't we tell people there is no God? Zašto da ne kažemo ljudima da ne postoji Bog? And they thought. I tako su razmišljali. And one said, that will never work. I kaže, pa neće to uspeti. Because when people look at the beauty of nature, kada ljudi gledaju lepotu prirode, they know there is a God. Znaju da postoji Bog. And one of them said, I have a great idea. A onda sljedeći kaže, e imam ideju. Let's tell them that there is a God, but let's tell them that God doesn't love them. Hajde da im kažemo da postoji Bog, ali da ih Bog ne voli. And they thought again. I opet su razmišljali. And one said, that will not work. I jedan kaže, ma neće ni to uspjeti. Because if they ever get their hands on a Bible, jer kada god uzmu Bibliju, and they discover that God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only son. I kada otkriju da je Bog toliko volao sve, da je dao svog jedinog sina, they will realize that God does love them. Shvatit će da ih Bog voli. And so they thought, i tako su dalje razmišljali and they thought i razmišljali and one said I know i kaže e znam let's tell them that there is a God hajde da im kažemo da postoji Bog and let's tell them that God loves them i da im kažemo da Bog Bog ih voli but tell them that they have plenty of time hajde da im kažemo ima još dosta vremena and that is the lie that the devil has been telling men for generations upon generation. One day I drove into a garage to fill my car up with petrol. And I met a friend who I had not met for many years. We went to Sunday school together. Nekada smo išli u nedeljnu školu zajedno. We went to Bible class together. Išli smo u na biblijske časove zajedno. He had grown up in a Christian home, like me. Odrastao je u hrišćanskom domu, kao i ja. And I remember a number of years before this, i sećam se pre mnogo godina, pre nego što smo se sredili, I had said to him, are you going to become a Christian? I pitao sam ga, da li si ćeš ti, da li si postao hrišćanin? And he said, yes, but not just now. Rekao je, da, postao ću hrišćanin, ali još ne, ne sada. So I'm filling up my car with petrol. I tako svitam gorivo. And my friend pulled in in his car. I prijatelj također dolazi svojim kolima. And we got talking with each other. I tako pričali smo. And after talking about family and life, nakon što smo pričali o porodici, o životu uopšte, I said, tell me this. I kazao sam, kaži mi, did you ever trust Christ as your Savior? Da li si se ikada pouzdao u Hriste kao svoga spasitelja? His head went down to the ground. I on je oborio pogled na zemlju. And here's what he said. I ovo rekao, I don't think about those sort of things anymore. Ja više ne razmišljam o takvim stvarima. Behold, now is the accepted time. Gle, sada je prikladno vreme. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Gle, sada, danas je dan spasenja. You know, the devil will tell you, you can worry about Christian service when you're older. I djavo ti može reći, pa može se brenuti za službu kada budeš malo stari. When you retire from work. Kada odeš u penziju. You have plenty of time. Imaš ješ puno vremena. I repeat it again, only one life, it will soon be passed. And only what's done for Jesus will last. The other thing that is an enemy of time is selfish ambition. Dalje neprijatelj našeg odkupivanja vremena je sebična ambicija. Now, ambition in itself is not a sin. Ambicija sama po sebi nije greh. But you know, selfish ambition 
Ali can be a sin. Sebična ambicija može biti greh. When you think about your ambition in life, kada razmišljamo o svojoj životnoj ambiciji, you must think about it in context of God's word and God's will. Moramo to učiniti u kontekstu Božje reči, u kontekstu Božje volje za naše život. If God has given you intelligence, God expects you to use it wisely to Ako His glory. Ako Bog dao inteligenciju, On očekuje da je pametno iskoristiš za Njegovu slavu. Do you remember the story in Matthew's Gospel about the talents? Sećate se priče iz Evanđeve po Mateju o talentima? The master of the house was going away on a journey. Gospodar je odišao negde na putovanje. He called three of his servants together. I pozvao je trojicu svojih slugu. To one he gave five talents. Jednom je dao pet talenta. To another he gave two. Drugom je dva. And to the third one he gave one talent. A trećemu je dao jedan talent. You know the one who had received the five talents, he took them and he treated them. Onaj koji je imao pet talenta, otišao i trgovao je sa njima. And he gained another five talents. I za dobro je li napravio još pet, još danih pet. The one who had received two talents, he treated them and got two more talents. Onaj koji je dobio dva talenta, stekao je još dva. And the one who had only one talent, he went and buried it in the ground. Onaj koji je primio jedan je istukio pao zemlju u napravio rupu. And sometime later the master came back. I nešto kasnije došao, vratio se gospodar da izmiri račune. The servant who had been given five talents, he came and brought the other five talents as well. Koji je došao i dano pet talenta koje je zaradio. And the Lord said to him, I gospodar mu kaže, Well done, you good and faithful servant. Dobro, slugo, dobri i vežan. You were faithful in a few things. U malom si mi bio veran. I will make you rule over many things. I nad mnogim ću te postaviti. The servant who had been given two talents. Sluga koji je dobio dva talenta. He came back with the two he had been given plus another two. Došao je sa dva koji je dobio i još dva. And again the master says, well done, you're a good and faithful servant. Jopet, gospodar kaže isto, dobro, dobri slugo i verni. You were faithful over a few things. U malom si mi bio veran. I will make you rule over many things. Nad mnogim ću te postaviti. But you know the servant who had been given one talent, znate onaj koji dobio samo jedan talent, he came back and he said to his master, Vratio se i rekao svom gospodaru, Lord, I know that you're a hard man. Rekao je gospodaru, znam da si ti strog čovek. You reap where you have not sown. Žanješ gde nisi posajao. You gather where you have not even scattered seed. I skupljaš tamo gde nisi vejao. He said, I was afraid and so I went and hid the talent. Rekao, uplašio sam se pa sam otišao i sakrio taj tvoj talent. And I'm going to give back to you what belongs to you. I evo ti tvoje. But you know, the Bible says the Lord was angry. Ali Biblija kaže da je gospodar bio ljud. He said, you know the kind of man that I am. Rekao je, ti znaš kakav sam ja čovjek. You could have taken that money and invested it in the bank. Trebao je da ložiš taj novac u banci. And I would have received what I had given plus some interest. I dobio bih ono što sam ti dao plus još neke kamate. And the Lord says, take away that one talent. I rekao je gospodar, uzmite mu taj jedan talent. And give it to the one who has ten talents. I dajte onome koji već ima deset. And the Bible says to everyone who has, i Biblija kaže da svako neko ima, more will be given. Još će se i dodati. And for him who does not have, a onoga koji nema, it will be taken away from him even that he does have. Oduzet će se i ono što ima. What does that mean? Što u stvari to znači? Well, if God gives you an ability or a talent, ako ti je Bog dao sposobnost, talent, and you use it wisely for his glory, i to koristiš mudro za njegovu slavu, he will trust more to you. On će ti još više povjeriti. But if God has given you a talent or an ability, ali ako ti je Bog dao talent, sposobnosti, and you hide it or bury it in the ground, a to si sakrio, pokopao u zemlju, God will be angry. 
Gospod će biti ljubav. And God will take away even the thing that he had given to you. I oduzet će ti ono što ti je dao. One of the lessons that changed my life as a young believer jedna od lekcije koja je promenila moj život kao mladog vernika was the verse that we find in Matthew 6 and verse 33. Jeste stih koji nalaze u Mateju 6, preglavi 33. stih. Seek first the kingdom of God. Tražite najpre ili prvo carstvo Božje. And his righteousness. I njegovu pravednost. And all these things will be added unto you. Sve ovo će vam se dodati. You know, as I was thinking about that, I thought about the story of Elijah and the widow of Zarephath. I dok sam razmišljao o tome, pao mi na misel da priča o Iliji i Udovici i Sarepte. God said to Elijah, go down to Zarephath. Bog je rekao, Ili, idi u Sarepte. And he said, I have commanded a widow there to look after you. I gospod je rekao, naredio sam Udovici da se brine za tebe. So Elijah obeyed God and he went to Zarephath. Tako je Ilija poslušao Boga i otišao u Sarepte. And when he got to the edge of the town, he kada je došao do gradske kapije, he saw the widow and she was gathering sticks. Vidio je dovicu koja je skupila tamo neko pruće, granje. And he called her and he said, "Will you please bring me a cup of water?" I dovicu je rekao, "Molim te, donesi mi čašu vode." And then he says, "Will you please also bring me some bread so that I can eat?" Rekao, "Molim te, donesi mi i malo hleba da pojedem." I'm sure Elijah was shocked by her response. Siguran sam da je Ilija bio šokiran njenim odgovorom. She said, I don't have any bread. Rekla, nemam hleba. And all that I have left is a little bit of flour. I s to mi ostalo te samo šaka brašna. And a little bit of oil. I malo ulja. And she said, I'm going to gather these sticks. Rekla je, sakupit ću truće. And I'm going to prepare what I have left for my son and I. Da mogu da pripremim ono što je ostalo za mene i za mog sina. And shortly after that I will die. I ukratko posle toga ćemo umreći. I'm sure Elijah was saying, Lord, I thought this was the lady that was going to feed me. I mi sigurno sam da Ilija razmišlja, pa gospode, ja mislio sam da je ovo žena koja će se brinuti za mene, hraniti me. But you know, Elijah had faith in God. Ali znate, Ilija je imao veru u Boga. And he said to the woman, do not be afraid. I rekao je ženi, ne boj se. Make me a small cake first. Prvo mene i speci pogač. Then make some for yourself and your son. A onda spreme nešto za sebe i svog sina. You know, what this lady had was very small. Znate, ono što je ova udovica imala je bilo vrlo malo. It was only one talent. Samo jedan talent. But she was prepared to use it for God. Ali je bila spremna da to koristi za Boga. And the man of God was blessed. I Boži čovjek je bio blagosloven. And the widow was blessed. I udovica je bila blagoslovena. And her son was blessed. I njen sin je bio također blagosloven. You know, God's message to you, God's message to me. I Bože poruka za tebe i za mene. Put me first. Stavi me na prvo mesto. Serve me first. Prvo meni služi. And all the other things that you maybe want in life i sve druge stvari koje možda želiš u životu will happen in God's time and according to His plan. Desit će se u Božje vreme i prema njegovom planu. The third thing that is a thief of time treća stvar koja nam krade vreme is the pursuit of pleasure. Jeste težnja za uživanje ili zadovoljstvo. The pursuit of pleasure can be a real thief of time. Ta težnja može stvarno da nam ukrade vreme. The life of Moses is divided into three. Život Mojsija se može podeliti na tri dela. Forty years in Pharaoh's palace. Četrdeset godina provedenih na Faraonom dvoru. Forty years looking after sheep. Četrdeset godina čuvajući ovce. And forty years leading the people to the edge of the promised land. I četrdeset godina vođenja Božjeg naroda na ivicu obećane zemlje. You know, in Hebrews chapter number 11, Moses is listed with all the heroes of faith. The Bible tells us that Moses made a choice. It, it says, by faith, Moses refused to be known as the daughter of Pharaoh's daughter. Moses refused to be known as the daughter of Pharaoh's daughter. And Moses chose to suffer along with the people of God. 
I rad je izabrao da zajedno s Božjim narodom bude zlostavljan. And rather than enjoy the pleasures of sin for a little while, nego da nakratko uživa u grehu. He just he considered disgrace for the sake of Christ. I nemilost u koju je pao radi Hrista to be of greater value than the treasures of Egypt. Smatra je većim bogatstvom od egipatskog blaga. Why is this so? I zašto je to tako? Because he looked ahead to his eternal reward. Jer je očekivao večnu nagradu. The final thing that can steal our time konačna stvar koja može da nam ukrade vreme are everyday things. Su svakodnevne stvari. What did we do before we had televisions and mobile phones? Što smo radili pre nego što smo imali televizore i mobilne telefone? I'm sure your family is just like my family. Vi vas da je vaša porodica kao i moja. When our children come to visit us, kada naša deca dođu u posetu, they will have their mobile phones. Svi imaju svoje mobilne telefone. And they sit in the family room and they're on their phones. Sede svi u dnevnoj sobi sa svojim telefonima. And so we have made a rule in our house. Tako da smo mi napravili pravilo u našoj kući. No phones at the dinner table. Nema telefona za stolom, to kazali. And when we're sitting together as a family talking, you're not allowed to have your phone. I kada zajedno kao porodite sedimo, pričamo, ne smeš da imaš mobil. With a modern smartphone, sa modernim pametnim telefonima, it can tell you how long you have been on the phone. Pa oni imaju tu aplikaciju da kažu koliko dugo si probao na mobilnom. I dok sam pripremio ovu poruku, razmišljao sam, sat i po na telefonu, Did I spend the same amount of time reading God's word? Dali sam isto ovako provedeno vreme proveo čitajući njegovu reč? And that day I was honest with myself. Bio sam iskren sam prema sebi. Sadly, I had spent more time on my phone. Više vremena sam proveo na svom telefonu. Than I had spent reading God's word. Nego što sam čitao njegovu reč. You'll be delighted to know I'm almost finished. Biće vam drago da znate da sam skoro završio. This morning we have considered the first four questions. Jutro smo postavili odvoljno na četiri prva pitanja. Why is time so important? Zašto vreme je toliko važno? What does it mean to redeem the time? Šta znači otkupiti vreme? Why should we bother redeeming the time? Zašto bi trebalo da otkupimo vreme? And who or what are the enemies of time? I ko ili šta su nepredeli našeg vremena? God willing this afternoon Prema Božoj voli, danas posle podne, we will look at the remaining three questions. Pogledat ćemo preostala tri pitanja. I just want to finish with a short challenge. I želim da završim sa jednim kratkim izazvom. James asked the question, Jakov je postavio pitanje, What is your life? Šta je vaš život? He said it is like a vapor that soon vanishes away. To je kao izmaglice koje se načas pojavi i odmah iščezne. Your life and mine someday will come to an end. Tvoj i moj život će jednog dana završiti. Everything that we have will be given to someone else. Sve što imamo bit će dato nekom drugom. One day my son Andrew came to visit. Jednog dana moj sin Andrew je došao posjetu. And we had just moved to a new house. Upravo smo se preselili u novu kuću. And he said, Dad, this is quite a nice house. I rekao je, ha, tato, ovo je jako lepa kuća. He says, there's a sense in which this is really mine. A u nekom smislu, ovo je moja kuća. I said, wait until I die before you start taking my house. I rekao, čekaj, čekaj, dok ja umrem, pre nego što ti preuzmeš moju kuću. But you know, there will come a day in your life and mine. Doći će dan u tvom i mom životu. When the everyday things of life will not be important. Kada naše svakodnevne stvari u životu neće biti bitne. The only things that will remain. Jedino stvari koje će ostati. Are the things that we have invested for eternity. Su stvari koje smo uložili, investirali u večnost. All that will matter is this. I bitno je samo. Did we or did we not redeem the time? Da li jesmo ili nismo iskupili vreme? 
I have enjoyed preparing this message. Bilo mi je drago dok sam pripremao ovu poruku. I've been greatly challenged by the thoughts the Spirit of God has given to me. Bio sam jako izazvan duhom Božjim koji mi je govorio. And I pray that God will use whatever was from Himself. I ja se molim da Božji duh koristi sve to be a blessing in your life. May God bless his word to our hearts. Amen.